Ohio. Uh, my door is open. Hang on. Really funny to call someone a weeb when they're playing FGO. Like, what did you expect? Hello. Are you? I mean, candy is an animatronic, so technically, it is an um inanimate object. Why is the music so loud? Okay, there you go. Yeah, allow me to erm um, actually. Wait, hang on. Do I still have the hotkey set up? What section am I on? I have no fucking clue. It's been so long since we played this. Hang on. Let me see if I still have the toggle. Yeah, I don't see anything. Uh. <laughs> oh no, I think I got rid of that toggle. No, I should still have the toggle. Do I? Uh, the answer is no. It's genuinely been a very long time since we've played 5.2, 5, 5, 6, 6, not 5. That should tell you how long it's been. Uh, I've been playing, you know, good video games, so. Oof, burn. Um... I mean, I got, like, there are two games that I want to buy this weekend. I don't know when the hell I'm going to do the first one. Because uh, Shin Megami Tensei Vengeance comes out tomorrow. What does the Digital Deluxe Edition even do? Uh, I'm probably going to buy that next week, most likely. Uh, probably next week. Because uh, this weekend, it, Nintendo has a sale. <laughs> and I want to play Splatoon. <laughs> I could buy both games, but I'd, it it just makes me a little poor, so I don't want to do that. I can wait a bit. It's not gonna. What does the digital looks even uh, DLC be talking into wealth? Oh, there are demon subquests that give you. Oh shit, that's a dog though. What the fuck? Did I see the second patch, dude? I haven't played Tekken in a while because my laptop like overheats whenever Tekken come, whenever I play Tekken, so I haven't not played it in months. I know Azucena got buffed. Which seems ridiculous. <laughs> but that's about all I know. I know Azusena got buffed. Wait, fucking Reina got debuff? God damn it. <laughs> Reina got nerfed? What the fuck? God damn it. Oh, I can't play a top tier for too long without the game literally telling me no. Let me see which part of the main story I'm on. Oh, I'm on section 8. I'm further than I thought. Alright, it's time to get through two chapters today because this this is... Oh god, this is very long. <laughs> it's time to get through two chapters today because lord knows. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll I'll give it a shot later today and see if my fucking laptop overheats and blows up. Oh, I should probably turn on in-game music, huh? Give me a second. <laughs> I was gonna lose song request song for a second, but no, that would be a stupid idea. I'm actually pretty far into the event now. I think I just have to do the last chapter, and that's it. Oh, well. Hey, baby. How's it going? All right. Idle talk in the dead of night. This is a chapter that is. How long is this bitch? Hey, baby. Seven How's minutes long. Going? Great. Oh, well, certainly they won't talk that much. Why is it? What is it loading? What? <laughs> What did you have to load? Game? 
Oh. Oh, it's this fucking cutscene. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is the game not? No, it's it's capturing the audio. It's just very quiet. I can crank it up a bit. I probably have the audio mixed weird. Hang on. Because it's loud as fuck for me. That's the issue. Oh, no, it's just maxed. Uh, I'll have to remember to remix this later. Sherlock Holmes is my rival. He is a light to my shadow. However, in this new role as a foreign disciple, our past rivalry is irrelevant. Only his abilities matter now. His capacity to observe, deduce, and reach the truth. I cannot have him bringing those abilities to bear here. So I planted seeds of doubt. I appeared to him and showered him a torrent of utter nonsense. I think they forgot the- I think they forgot the of there. Well, whatever. What the fuck is happening? Hello? What is happening? Uh... What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> no, that was... That was my, my phone, for some reason. You will never overcome the barrier I represent. I see. It seems this foreign god thinks things through very well. It is a shame Vlad III sealed himself away with his own stakes. A powerful servant like him would have made an excellent piece on the board. Oh well, I suppose I'll just have to move some other pieces instead. Okay. My apologies. No matter how I try, I can't seem to get a read on this Moriarty. I don't believe he's the Singularity's master, but aside from that... What's with you? You're not usually so hedgy. The one yet remains ill-defined. In this Singularity, masters are all but meaningless. Okay, so that doesn't work. Well, that's gonna be a problem. We recruited you Chaldeans because we were counting on you to do exactly that. What, you guys couldn't kill- oh, well, I guess you can't kill your master, like, if you were ordered to. Especially considering everyone has infinite command seals. Of course I've taken into that into consideration, and I remain confident we can win. There are certainly plenty of challenges to overcome, but the situation is by no means hopeless. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I don't know why, but seeing Don Quixote made people laugh. Where's my... Oh, okay. Sorry, I, I was looking for my hot chocolate. Lord knows I'm gonna need it, we got a lot of reading today. <laughs> There are only so many things we can do in the moment. Our first few steps should be taken as a small, mobile commando unit. <laughs> there are servants besides Roland and Anastolpo we're fairly sure we can trust. I wonder who these other servants are. It'd be one thing if she was a Sancho, but the story of Don Quixote has also has an imaginary princess, a deceptive maid, and a nameless duchess. Ah well, who cares, even if things turn out badly. That's Caldea, really, soul's problem. I'm just here to provide support, that's all. I mean, you're part of Caldea now, so... <laughs> like, if we die, you're dying too, man. You're, you're coming along. Unless homie's also just suicidal, which, like, based. Speaking for myself, no, no, absolutely not, Sancho. I still have to stay on this throne. I have a duty to uphold no matter what anyone else says. Isn't that right? Yes, sir, if that's what you want. All right, then, I'll come up with a few possible missions for the commandment unit. It commandable.
I wonder who they're gonna who we're gonna have watching over us. I genuinely don't know. I, I, who else appears in the singularity? I thought we've met everyone. I can put up a light soundproofing belt in field for good measure. Want me to? If you would. <laughs> Headock really is just a magic bitch. <laughs> like no one else here can do magic, can do half decent magic except for Cadhawk. Oh my god. Let's go, Cadhawk sounding. <laughs> we probably shouldn't, right? Nonetheless, this was still the only option available. Both the Revenge Room and the Reinstatement Realm are fully functioning, autonomous societies. They have demonstrated clear hostility to all of proper human history. If the Righteous Realm were similarly inclined, our goose would well and truly be cooked, as they say. <laughs> Who let him cook? Like the Ultra Instinct, what? <laughs> did, I, did I miss something? What have I told you about not getting captured in the first place? My poor heart can only take so much. Autonomous? Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kind of fucking stupid, I don't know. I'm, it's really impressive that you made it back alive. I mean, <laughs> it really wasn't up to us. We have thoughts and emotions of our own. Sometimes beating new people can spur us, spur us to temporarily grow and change. I mean, isn't that the entire plot point of... Fate Stay Night, and also Zero. I don't know, I haven't watched those shows. I have to, because that was a sub-goal, and I haven't done a watch party in a bit. But my Discord, for some reason, doesn't like me streaming, <laughs> so I, I can't. <laughs> I'll fix it sometime, we'll get back to Pokemon, I swear. At any rate, who's this Aton person, anyway? You know, I never did manage to figure that out. So you never even got a glimpse of him, hmm? I see. You know, it is weird that we didn't, like, look at him when we were escaping. But I guess we were kind of busy in that moment, so that makes sense. Hmm. Seeing it all laid out like this, it's pretty obvious that the Righteous Realm hasn't really got anything going for it. What do you mean it doesn't have anything going for it? We have two of the Knights of Charlemagne! What do you mean we have nothing going for us? I expect they also have a color magic for servants attempting to use their spirit forms to sneak in. They may be servants, but they will be easily intercepted if they aren't foot. Especially if they were to, to match larger numbers. Not to mention that if one of the other factions were to attack, the remaining faction would no doubt be quick to take advantage of that opening. I mean, yeah, Astolfo and Roland are fucking stupid, but I mean, they're strong, if anything else. I doubt she planned all this out intentionally, but it's an impressive state of affairs all, all the same. Well, Holmes, the question still remains. What are you planning to do next? First of all, we should discuss the Moriarty calling himself a foreign disciple. It's safe to assume he's operating behind the scenes. While well, we could try to pursue him, that will not help to resolve the Singularity's root cause. Yeah, so we're just gonna kind of ignore Moriarty until we're forced to deal with him. Nah, we're not dicking Moriarty. That's what Sleepy's for. Pardon me, may I come in? Sancho? Thank you. I'm the Righteous Realm Servant who will be part of this Kamena unit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I kind of forgot about her. <laughs> kind of for... I kind of forgot that you were in this this singularity. 
I see. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, Ms. Shufu. I'm Sherlock Holmes detective. Oh, Sherlock Holmes detective. And this is... Kadok Zimlopus and Soul. At least that's what the secretary told me your aliases were. <laughs> the bisexual panic. True. Still, I'd be rather I'd be thrilled if you told me more anyway. So tell me. Let's just say all in good time. Oh yes, yeah, very smooth. All that aside, two characters in an extra class? Weird makeup for a group. Eh, it's a long story. Wait, who's the other caster? Lady Shufu, would it be alright if I introduce myself now? Uh, uh, yes, that should be fine. Oh, us? Okay, I forgot that they're caught considering us a caster. I didn't forget about him or anything like that. Uh-huh. No wonder the secretary trusts you so deeply, Lady Shufu. You truly are greater than your stature suggests. Oh. You're, you're in this single... <laughs> Is it bad that I didn't know he was in this? <laughs> I genuinely had zero clue that he was in the Singularity. I, I did not know he was here. If we have, I'm afraid I have no memory of that, but here I will be proud to fight beside you. Work me as hard as you need to for this assignment. A, a, excitement. Assignment. You've always has loved all things beautiful, haven't you? Alright, now that we've made our introductions, perhaps you can tell us about our mission. Of course. Our mission is to determine the enemy's military strength and to secure an abandoned stronghold. Unfortunately, we're so low on personnel that we'll have to accomplish both in one day. I can tell the secretary is ready to run us all ragged, me included. This is going to be such a hassle. I wish I could just run away. Well, that was a sudden depressing turn. <laughs> I'm sure this is obvious, but just to be clear, I'll stick to providing rear support. The DR mode here will lead the charge. Where are we even going? I still don't understand how the dazzling part of him actually manifests physically. Don't worry, I promise I won't dazzle anyone while we're undercover. Hey, what's up, Zaki? Ah. She would be supporting asses, that's why she likes you, Mayron, so much, oh my gosh. I mean, I, I am also a big fan of asses. You know, it occurs to me that that is, that that command is follow age and not follow age, like I thought it was for two years. <laughs> what I'm saying is I cannot, I cannot read. It's not, no, it's not follow age. A fellow's wage is not what that is. Oh, hi, Caddock. Are we not sharing a room with Caddock? What the fuck? This is some bullshit. Are you ready, Mash? What? Mash is here? <laughs> oh. Just to be safe. After I woke up, I reviewed your records of everything that happened after the Russian Lost Belt. Including records about the man from Chaldea. Oh. Uh... Rom Romani. I don't know who he is either, but we'll just have to put that aside for now. More importantly, do you remember what he said about there being someone who can't be trusted? And what Archer said afterward about something feeling off? Which Archer? What? Which archer? I really can't believe you went and reported everything they told you when they were very clear you should keep it a secret. 
I guess you wouldn't be, well, you, if you hadn't. Are you calling us fucking stupid? Because we're right, you're right, but whatever. I've given it some thought, yes, but it just seemed too far-fetched to take seriously. You're not exactly sounding like a mystery lover here. So you dropped it? Just like that? Not another thought? Not at all, it was the opposite. I believe I thought about it as much as logically as I could. But no matter how much I thought about what he said, it never made any more sense. How so? Well, if someone on Caldea's staff can't be trusted, that would mean one of them is a traitor. But there's no evidence anyone has betrayed us, and more importantly, no motive for anyone to do so. We call this kind of mystery a why done it. Oh, good. <laughs> Fucking waver. And that clears everyone on Caldea's current staff of suspicion. I can't see any reason for a member of our staff to want to help wipe Earth clean. If they were just hiding their motivation, they would have tripped up long ago. If they didn't have any reason to reset Earth, then they wouldn't have any reason to help prevent it either. <laughs> Where is Avestion? She's never appearing in main story, let's be honest here. Killing myself for real. You weren't even at Caldea at the time. Senpai, of course, isn't a viable choice either. What if, what if it came out that we were the traitor all along? We were the true traitor. We destroyed Caldea. Oh my god, what a twist. Why does everyone want to talk about killing themselves so casually? I mean, I do the same, and I'm not trans. I I'm really setting myself up here, huh? <laughs> if she wanted to betray us, then that would have been the perfect time and place to do so. Frankly, if she had known what was going to happen ahead of time and had escaped on her own, we would all be dead by now. Are you really not at all suspicious that I did something somehow? No. How the hell would you... <laughs> how would you have done anything? Well, I guess that's not true. I did betray all of proper human history once. I mean, you didn't really have a choice in the matter. It was either that and die. Why didn't I save you yesterday? What do you mean? Dude, I was, like, I was conked out for most of yesterday. <laughs> like, I was not alive most of yesterday. I was under attack by ping pong ball size hail. I don't know what you want me to do about the weather. I don't have control of that. Me, Soul here, the staff, the servants, our actions have all been consistent. My case is more complex, sure, but it still checks out in terms of consistency. Long story short, I betrayed proper human history, lost to you guys, got critically injured, recovered, and now I'm helping you guys out with restrictions on my behavior because it beats getting locked up or killed. Sure, I wasn't exactly being virtuous, but I was being consistent, yeah? 80 degrees Fahrenheit. How the fuck is it? <laughs> what? What's going on? But you do have an idea of who it could be, right? But if it doesn't, I think we might be onto something. It's about servants. Let's start with Da Vinci. Caldea summoned the original Da Vinci and her successor unit is carrying on her work in her stead. So we know that Caldea is her summoner and that she was helping before the incineration of humanity. Nemo was summoned by Scion Eltnum, at least that's what the records say. He's got some phantom and divine spirits mixed in with him, but we also know his summoning is legit. And the servant Soul contracted with, including you, of course, should all be fine. Cadoc, you don't mean... Yeah, I do. My question's about Sherlock Holmes. 
Who summoned him, and when and where did they do it? A master does more than just serve as a battery for their servant. Through their contract, the master serves as an anchor to keep them rooted in reality. Wow, they really do just lay it out on the table. They just really front they just really front load everything. <laughs> they, like I remember when this came out on JP and it was like a big deal. They were like, holy shit, Sherlock's the traitor, but <laughs> but like I felt like, man, they're gonna like write this entire story with like little hints leading up to everything that happens, and it's like, no, they're just like, yeah, Sherlock's probably the traitor. <laughs> I mean, a rogue servant literally wouldn't be able to be manifested in Caldea. Because there's no ley lines, really. He would he would have disappeared once, like, the incineration happened. And of course, there were also rogue servants in some of the Lost Belts who didn't depend on the Holy Grail. Beowulf in Russia leaps to mind. No, wait. We didn't meet, but he was at the Mages Association and he was? I don't remember this. Oh yeah, he did he I think when we met him in Camelot, he said he was there. Right, yeah, when when we met him in um, Camelot, he he said that he left some stuff for us behind at the Mages. Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Okay. Also, he was a caster in Camelot, so. <laughs> Why was he here? Why was he in... Why was he there? And he said that he managed to prolong his materialization and ray shift it on his own. You mean like Miyamoto Musashi? No, he can't do it repeatedly like she could. He said twice was his limit and that it came at the cost of seriously weakening himself. Then why did he show up as a ruler afterwards? It is really weird that we just never question any of this shit about Sherlock. Well, that all makes sense, but still, something's still nagging at me. Ugh, I can't figure out what it could be. What do you mean you can't figure out what it could be? How was he ray shifting? He can't do that. I mean, even Moriarty straight up said, hey, maybe you shouldn't be trusting Sherlock. <laughs> But it was in his interlude, so it's not canon, I guess. Maybe you should hit my head to make me forget. Why would I do that? I could just use a really basic cell for sealing early memories. It can only be cast if the target consents to it, though. And it comes with some restrictions. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the consent spell. This is only a seal. It probably won't make you forget completely. Your subconscious will still remember this conversation. So if you really trust Holmes, then keep observing him and doubting him so we can put this at rest and trust him that much more. Got it? Do you consent to forgetting the freak shit we did last night? It is kind of funny that we brought Caddock along. Like, we rescued him from essentially death. And we're just using him as, like, her magic slave. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up. It's like... Uh, give me a second. I want to check something here. We are the Charles Commandos. Cool. <laughs> Charles doesn't wear underwear. I mean, knowing the shorts of the night, the shorts. <laughs> knowing the knights of Charlemagne, I, I completely believe that they don't wear underwear. 
I do I do be knowing the shorts. Oh yeah, I forgot Foe didn't come along. Why did Foe not come again? Did he just not want to come? He, he stayed out of Lost Belt 6. Why did he stay out of this one? I guess bro just didn't want to hang out with us. I didn't, I didn't even process that she has toast in her mouth. Who gave her bread? Much. Why did she just cover her ears? Good morning, everyone. I hope you're excited to get it. Never mind. <laughs> How are you this peppy this early? <laughs> if you guys hadn't come along, I'd have had to work with him alone. <laughs> My stomach aches just thinking about it. <laughs> Fucking love Shufu. Man, I can't wait for... We're, we're like a month away from anniversary, huh? We got another rolling stream coming up. Wait, where's Kadok, though? Oh. <laughs> Diarmuid was just straight up like, like alright everyone let's get going and just ignored Kadok and Kadok's like hey what the fuck does commerce even function in this realm? better than you'd think of course all transactions are made with QP besides there's no point in hanging on to more enhancement resources than you need after killing a demonic beast that's how the servants of all three realms enhance their spirit origins with QP only? Damn, these bros must be strong. It's not my fault the game just chooses to explain things after I question it. Is she buying rocks? <laughs> Oh, hi, Charlemagne. Hey, looks like we both got away clean. Congrats. Why the hood? Why are you dressed up like an assassin? Yep, yep, everything's fine. Honestly, I'm more worried about you. But you seem like you're doing fine, so never mind. So what are you going to do now that you're free? I think I'll just hang around here for a while. This place isn't nearly as savage as the Revenge Realm, so I've got a feeling things will work out. How about you? You're off on a mission? Hmm, I wish I could help you out, and I really do, but I'm afraid that's easier said than done. Sorry. This fucking loser doesn't want to help us out. Oh my god. Charlemagne the Great, more like Charlemagne the Not So Great. Sick burn. How did no one see us talking to him? Oh right, I guess you wouldn't know since you were passed out. Our destination is way up in the mountains and there's no ropeway or anything to help us get there. Eh, we hiked across America, this is no different. Hey, I was just wondering... What is it? Are we gonna have to do this on the way back too? What do you think? Then I think maybe we should take a little break. I don't think that's a good idea. Huh, why not? There tends to be a lot of snakes in this area. What, snakes? That's no, that's no big deal. I could just cast a simple spell to... I believe these particular snakes are called Orochi in the Far East. Why are you only mentioning this now? Kedok really is just the straight man of the group. Uh, where's my story party? Here it goes. Get out. I don't need you here. I 
Uh, whose bond am I working on? Probably BB. But definitely BB. <laughs> You're actually really close to, your, to bond 11. I can get rid of you. Sit this in the party. I was fighting with her, don't worry about it. Um. Oh, you're Bond 13, never mind. Are you close to a Bond level? Nope, you're not. Okay, Vargas is this. You can also get out of my party. Or. God, I wish. Zenjubo was on NA already, so I had another three star to just carry everywhere. I mean, what the fuck did- <laughs> How am I supposed to respond to this? <laughs> also, I think it's just- oh wait, is it just- is it a single wave? Oh, it's a single wave. Oh shit, I can just use Vargas then. Uh, you can get the fuck out of my party. Ba-boom. How are you doing on Bond, actually? Double Castoria Vargas meta, yeah. They call me they call me a revolutionary. I I make my own I make the meta my own. Call me plushy mistress the way I be. Well, well, plus he didn't really revolutionize the meta in any way. He just kind of... <laughs> mm. What do you mean, what anime? I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. All right. Oh, perish. Hopefully, it kills all. No one know, would know what this guy did without him. I guess he did. Well, I mean, people figured it out. He just was. He was just the person that like showed like who it was possible. No, that was X Naya. Plus, she didn't make the the Koyanskaya videos. It was it was Naya. I think. It, dude, it's been like four years since Koenskaya came out on JP. It's been too long. I don't remember who created the meta and whatever. It's fucking... It's really sad that I can't hear clapping normally anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I helped, technically. Of course you all helped. Your aid was invaluable. Why is this guy dazzling in the sunlight like he's a vampire from Twilight? I uh, guess you could put it that way, yeah. Wonderful. I feel as though I've gained a seasoned warrior for an ally. Speaking of, I can't read things, I can't, like, look at things normally. I saw Seasoned as sexual, and I was <laughs> very confused. I was pretty worried when I heard three casters were assigned to this mission. But now that I look, but now it looks like I'll be able to take the whole time, take it easy the whole time. I can't read. You throw your balls at him. I'll throw my balls at Paddock. What? I don't... Listen, Sleepy isn't here to thirst for Caddock, so I have to do it in his place.
If someone's gonna be hor someone has to be horny on my stream, and if Chad isn't gonna do it, it's gonna be me. He's probably still at work or something. I don't I, I don't know what time he finishes work. I don't know what time he finishes. He might just be like on the way home or something. As a matter of interest, I must acquire, did you ever succeed in finding the elixir of mortality? Uh, uh, I think? Maybe? Or maybe not. Or maybe it didn't really matter either way. It didn't matter. Ah? Can you please forget I just said that? On the off chance Emperor Chin Chi Huang gets summoned, I don't want this coming to back to bite me. Then again, maybe it's okay, since I doubt they'd get summoned to the Singularity anyway. They won't, right? <laughs> It is kind of funny that we've met Shufu before, but I guess Summer just isn't canon. Oh yeah, the sky did actually turn red there. The Revendrome dyes the sky red to d demarcate its domain and demonstrate its vegetal spirit. It's their way of telling outsiders, this is my territory, trespass and die. You know, since land can't actually talk. Excuse me. Ah, oh, sorry, I had to sneeze. I had the common sense to actually mute myself before I sneezed this time. Mr. Oh, God, I can't say his last name. <laughs> we learned a small battalion had been stationed here not too long ago. Our objective is to find out what kind of servants are in it. So I guess we're just not fighting. How small is small in this case? About 10 to 12 servants or so. They do outnumber us a bit. But we should be able to handle them just fine. I'm told they're all no more than phantom spirit level sa sa saviors. Hmm. Shufu was in a story chapter before being an anti servant. I guess that's true. So now we just have to decide what our first move will be. Man, I have like a a four hour video essay to watch on my like my list, and I haven't started it yet. And it's what I'm interested in too, so I, I want to watch it sometimes quick. It's a little big for a lookout tower. <laughs> That's what they said about my balls. I mean. <laughs> Uh, not from the exterior, but alone, no. We'll have to make our way inside first. Shh. Your balls are a lookout tower. <laughs> I, om I almost said a very terrible joke. <laughs> I, don't I don't want to say it because it's really bad. It's, it's kind of fucked up. I don't want to talk about it. Then I'll try drawing them out of hiding. Now that you've narrowed down the field of possibilities, I should be able to use an effective power start. I'm getting recommended Pokemon Unite streams. Is it over for me? Uh, As long as it's not League, it should be fine. Even though like League streamers are the biggest streamers on the platform for some fucking reason. Remember when Fortnite was the world's biggest game? I'm glad that lasted for all of a year. <laughs> oh, it's over for you. <laughs> it's over, I'm sorry. Wait, who am I? Who is on my recommended channels? Never mind, the LCK is recommended. <laughs> I literally made fun of you, and 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 the LCK is being recommended to me too. Oh fuck! Oh, you don't know what LCK stands for? Uh, that's like uh the league, the Korean league. Um, like I forget. 
the Korean League like tournament channel or whatever. So yeah, I'm I'm just as bad. I mean, my recommended channels right now are the LCK, two people playing Wuthering Waves, one person playing Apex Legends, someone fucking playing ne Snuffy's playing Neopets. Sick. Neopets became a speedrun game? Who the hell is speedrunning Neopets? Oh, I just looked at this hand. What the hell is this? Do these guys have human trait? I mean, I could just break it by uh, plugging. Um, the fuck was up? I heard a noise just now. Okay, heard. <laughs> but plugging, ooh, ooh, please stop talking. Mods, remove our balls. Well, <laughs> you know what? Never mind. That doesn't really work in this scenario. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't really work. That's not a threat. <laughs> I don't know how much of this I'm going to read today. Uh, probably about two hours worth, I think. I don't want to play this too long. What if Curse Cutting Creator was called Curse Cucking Creator in PB4? Man, it'd be real weird if your, your wife was her daughter, though. I mean, knowing BB, she, it, she would not be opposed to it. <laughs> I don't see any reinforcements coming. It looks like we're still clear. I don't sense anyone on the other side of the doors either. What's going on? Those are some strange doors. <laughs> At first glance, it doesn't appear to be much of note. That is a horrible quote. It's funny, though. As we all know, abuse is funny. May be directly connected to a ley line. Would it be possible to confirm that? Hell yeah! We get to go with Shufu. We can we can riz up we can riz up Shufu. Oh no, Diarmid's coming. Never mind. I can't riz her up while he's here. Hmm, hmm. Any luck? So this goes here and that goes there. Huh. How would they do this? Alright, let's ask them. Them? Who? Those casters working over there. I'll leave them to you. Up. Huh? <laughs> Damn. Get you a girl like Shufu, who puts you in immediate danger every time you hang out with her. Actually, you know what? That is exactly my type. Never mind.
<laughs> Could you say I'm mentally unstable? Maybe. Man, it feels good having MP3 BB. I probably should have. I could have gone for another copy during uh the grill front, but. I didn't feel it necessary. I I will I will continue with my middle of the road level 120 BB. I do not have any appends, but though I think I can get one append. Which do I take? The extra card append or the not extra card append? Those are the only two options, I guess. Man, BB does a fuck ton of damage with her buff now. Because the buff gave her the less attack type she was missing on her own. She has attack up now. I forget what her extra card does. I know both of the BBs got a buff that fixes it, that uh, gives them buffs to their extra cards. Um, 20 crit stars when attacking with extra... Oh, it's 20 crit star. Okay. I'm afraid we killed them all. Is that going to be a problem? Oh, no, it was fine. Ask was more of a figure of speech there. I could basically tell what they were doing here from their actions, their gait, and the spells they left behind. That's what I meant by ask. Aha, I knew it. This design is for sucking up magical energy straight from the ley line and sending it to the top of the tower. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Just like with my boss. <laughs> I'm fucking stupid. Uh. They must have been planning to perform a special summon. Yeah, usually when you suck up the energy from the bottom, something is summoned to the top. Oh, dear lord. <laughs> How are you this nice and handsome? Do pretty people have to have everything? It kind of pisses me off. Yufu acting like she's not <laughs> like she's not pretty. Agreed, it would seem I was correct, which is why I wanted to take a top look at the top of this tower as soon as possible. See it for yourselves. Except for a partially constructed stand, there's nothing here. Holy shit, there's a stand? I can't believe this tower is an enemy stand user. As you can see for yourselves, there's nothing here, not yet. I suspect they simply haven't been able to build a cannon larger durable enough to fire such an enormous mass of magical energy. Well, that's comforting. For the time being, I suggest we investigate any servants in the Revenge Realm who had a hand in this tower. I mean, there's only one person who could possibly, who I would uh, imagine could have this tower up. It's, uh, what's his fucking... Num nah, mm, mm, dude, uh, he's Chinese, <laughs> forget his name, Zhang Zhui, I think that's what it is. I think his name is Zhang Zhui, I, w I wish Sleepy was here because he knows all the Chinese names, even though he's Australian for some reason. Well, he plays Dynasty Warriors, so that's probably why. I, I rely on I rely on sleeping purely for anything that has to do with Chinese mythology because I do not know it very well. I know Sun Wukong and that's it. Is 
the secretary orders to build them. We have four in the Righteous Realm, two in the Revenge, and one in the Reinstatement. They're all hidden very well, and none have been discovered by the enemy yet. Bro, Sancho is a genius. I can't believe that they're getting outsmarted by a horse. Yeah, did something happen with X-Men again? Also, what the hell is X-Men 97? I've heard so many people hyping up this show, but I don't get it. I, I, I Is it supposed to be a continuation of, like, the old... Well, I guess it, it's in the name. It's a continuation of the old 97 series. I'm told each individual room has its own bounded field, and they're set to explode if they attack any spirit forms, too. What the hell kind of room is this? Imagine if they dropped a mutant whose powers that his bones are like boners, like he doesn't have blood flowing through their, his bones, they're just flaccid. Oh dear god. <laughs> I can't believe it, it's Dick Dole, man. Dick bone. Are those? Is that a. Is there just a horse in here? <laughs> oh, it's a golem. Oh! A VK Bron is it in this room? How come we haven't met him? Show me the boy! <laughs> Peter, the horse is here. Oh shit, hang on, sorry. Uh, I, I'm setting something, I'm setting up a post. I'm, I'm making a YouTube post and I'm timing them. I've been making YouTube posts lately because I find them funny. Unfortunately, my YouTube commenters aren't very funny, but it's fine. Where's the timing thing? How do I time these again? Oh, there it is. Schedule post. Uh, today's the 13th. 10 a.m. when the video comes out. I also have a short coming out today. I know, right? It's rare. Grand made a short. Where's the- oh, there's- The Revengement Run uses demonic beasts to pull their carriages. I hope I'll get a chance to ride one of those at some point. Oh, you've got protective mystic codes too. I don't suppose I could also- On second thought, never mind. How come? Uh, the, the explosive rig to his neck. <laughs> God damn it. Oh well, once we're done with this mission, I'll just put in a request for the secretary. <laughs> Shufu would be the type to drink. It is really weird that, like, they're just kind of name-dropping a bunch of servants and we don't see them. Like, a VK Bronze here somewhere. A VK Bronze was a baller in, uh, Lost Belt 1. I want to see him again. He's cool. Lost Belt 1 was the one he showed up in, right? It wasn't something later? <laughs> I think it was one. Do you have got any meds for motion sickness? Yeah, I do. Here, why are we carrying around motion sickness medicine? Okay, now that we're all settled in, there's a stronghold up ahead that the Revenge Realm is meant to use as a bridgehead for invading the invading invading the Righteous Realm. We're an hour in, and my brain is already mush. Luckily, the Righteous Realm just barely managed to eke out a win, forcing the Revenge Realm servants to retreat from this region. Unfortunately, we suffered a lot of casualties in the process, so we couldn't lay claim to the for It's lay claim. Have you guys considered just blowing it up?
Well, one killed me, so... <laughs> May you rest in peace. <laughs> Shufu's so fucking good. I love her already, man. <laughs> She's so adorable. I want to pinch her cheeks. Already? <laughs> Apologies, is a bad joke. I really am conceptually weak against demon boars, though. Then we'll handle them. What the fuck? Why? I don't know. I want to put- I want to pinch her cheek so I can see her get mad. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm a little tired. I'm still continuing my streak of just not getting enough sleep at night. I get I get up early and then I mean I I go to sleep late and I get up early. It's kind of I mean the reason I've been going to sleep later is because the sun's up so much later now. Otemba desu ka? Otemba desu? Oh shit, what just... How did I manage to do that? There you go. Fixed it. Call me an alpha of the way I... <laughs> Never mind then, I guess. My body literally forced me to yawn. to shut me up. I was wondering if it watched that movie. Uh, what movie? Oh, we're fine there. Luckily, it looks like the supply crew just arrived. Marriage story? Oh. Uh, it does look very awkward. I don't think I'd, I'd enjoy it very much. It's one of those movies everyone says is a masterpiece, but I know I wouldn't enjoy it because it just seems like it... It just seems like it's very depressing. Like, I don't want to watch a married couple fight. If I did that, I'd just go home. I was going to say that's a joke, but sadly, I don't think it is. Oh yeah, we kind of just left Vlad impaled on a stake at that random place. That's kind of fucked up. We should go help our friend. Almost in unison, the two mages let out a sigh of bone-deep weariness. Again, I mean, we've tracked farther. Like, again, we walked all over America. And I'm pretty sure America is bigger than whatever this place is. America's big in all the ways that matters. Like penis size. Yeah. America has the biggest penis size in all of the world on average. I think. I don't know. Uh, which... <laughs> 
country has the biggest penis size on average? Uh, Ecuador. <laughs> okay. Damn, America isn't even in the top 10. What the fuck? Uh, the countries with the smallest penises. Cambodia is number one. Let's go. Okay, where is the United States on this list? Uh, damn, are we not even in the top, like, we're not even in the top 30, it looks like. Where the fuck? Where's... Damn, America's number 59. Where's 60? What? This list, this list skips number 60 for some reason. And they list 72. What is this name? Oh, it's because Israel. Oh, it's because we're both. Okay, I see. Yeah, two countries are tied. I'm just fucking stupid. You can have more personnel if you need them. It will be done. Is there something important in this tower? At the moment, all three realms are more or less evenly matched. The Revenge Realm consistently goes on the offensive, our Reestatement Realm films them off, and the Righteous Realm watches from the sidelines, keeping both sides in check. Now both I and my military advisors believe the Revenge Realm is about to undertake a large-scale invasion very soon. If they're going to succeed, they'll need some way of ensuring their victory. They can't take their time to wage war because the Righteous Realm is bound to interfere. Oh, so they're investigating the tower now. Constantine in his fucking penis haircut. Bradamante? <laughs> Why are you not on the Righteous Realm side? <laughs> Why are you on- why are you on this side? Was he not your king when you were alive? Yes he was, but I made my choice to support the right- reinstatement realm over the righteous realm. I really felt like yours was the right cause. Okay, weird. This seems a little weird to have written Bradamante this way, but I'll- I'll- I'll deal with it. May I ask what kind of cuisine this? That I don't know. But I've never heard anyone complain, so I'm sure it'll be fine. I can't believe the <laughs> Bradamante bisexual. <laughs> Chaldea has drawn the gaze of the reinstatement realm. Even if they know about the towers now, they still have no way of determining their true purpose. I mean, we've kind of figured it out. <laughs> Chaldea has drawn the gaze. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, this entire rebelling against proper human history thing keeps- seems kind of stupid. The fact that very few servants are even questioning it is kind of just ridiculous.
Alright, I'm off to work on the final adjustments. I'm afraid I may not be able to speak to you again for a while. Oh, really? That's the best news I've heard all day. Goddamn, bro. his hurt was hard and radiant as a diamond his magnanim i'm i'm not even gonna try <laughs> i suppose that's what happened when you try to see the good in someone i wanted to see him one last time i wanted to tell him that everything he did was for naught but that wish is unlikely to come true if he were summoned here regardless of the realm he would most likely rebel against proper human history Okay. Since it was sincere and powerful enough that I didn't think twice about aiding the rebellion against proper human history. What do you mean the righteousness of this wish? That doesn't make sense. Oh, hi, Moriarty. There's one thing I want to ask you, and what's that? Is that what Master wants, too? That's a difficult question. This is our responsibility coming to bear. There's a reason all of you are fighting and assuring one another. There is one being here who must not win, but that's of no concern to you. So he doesn't care who wins, but there's one person they don't want to win. I'm assuming they mean us? If you insist on following me around any further, I'll see to it that all three realms know you for a stalker. Goddamn. Everyone really just hates young Sheldon. Very well, I shall take my leave. Farewell, good for nothing. If he just wants to butt toy with his pieces, then he's no more than an idiot. If he wants to maneuver himself around the board, then he's no more than a participant. So he's chosen to come down to the board even though he's qualified to run the whole game. In one sense, I suppose there's a kind of integrity to that. But in another, it makes me think he's the most dim-witted mathematician to ever live. Goddamn, bro. What did he do to you? I mean, ex besides exist. <laughs> How the Wait, sorry, I'm looking at the penis size chart again. How is Canada so far ahead of America? Canada is at number 12. I guess Canadians just have giant penises. I can't confirm I've never met a Canadian. I, I've never met a, a, a dude Canadian. I've met dude outs. I can't say anything about their penis size again. Uh, we'll probably read up to chapter 11, looking at this. He'll be fine as long as you don't call him a vampire. His moves still remind me a hell of a lot of the dead apostles, though. No, sir, you can't trade places now. They'd notice the difference in your auras immediately. Yeah, I guess you're right. At any rate, we certainly can't leave him like that. The fact is, the Righteous Realm needs all the strength it can get right now, all the more so with wisdom and intelligence. So we need Vlad III because he's a, a military experience guy? Is that a Melty Blood reference? Holy shit. Cadoc for Melty Blood? Uh, yes, let's make the Tsukihime fans even more mad. Oh my god, another FGO character in this Type Moon game? I can't believe that Type Moon is adding Type Moon characters to my Type Moon fighting game. How garbage how garbage is they are these people? SMH. 
Can't promise it'll work flawlessly. To be honest, it'll be a gamble. A gamble? You know gambling is bad, Sancho. I have to agree. There are any number of maidens who have ruined themselves by taking it. I can't believe I can't believe this gacha game is telling me gacha is bad. Based or cringe? The majority think that way. It gets worse the more talented they are. I see. I suppose that makes sense since Magecraft can do what would otherwise be impossible. And since they think there's nothing they can't do, they get carried away and think they'll come out ahead every time they take a chance. Their Magecraft lets them see others cheating and helps them notice patterns and trends. It's a speedrun to see who gets in a scandal first. Who would I even make an SMP with? I mean, like, there's three other streamers that I I know and talk to on a semi-regular basis. It's Burb, uh, Sham, and Tamago. I don't actually. There's no. There's not a fourth one. No, there's just three. Those are like the two. These are those are like the three people I talk to, on a half regular basis. And Sham is obviously the person I talk to the most out of those three. But I haven't talked to Burb in a bit. But Burb's just busy with life. Same with Tamago. In a fair and impartial game of chance, a mage has the same chance of winning as they do losing. And yes, that means about half of such mages will win those gambles, but when a mage wins big, what do you think they'll do next? They believe they've already won the next round as well. Oh no, I didn't. I absolutely won. That's why I'm still alive, even under these circumstances. Fofo. Bo is saying, way to look on the bright side. I don't, I don't think that that really makes sense. <laughs> We're putting it to the point after your leader that uh, he is your leader, right? Anyway, as averting has his remarks were, I'm afraid they've also gotten us a bit sidetracked. I didn't know he had such strong opinions on gambling. <laughs> I can't believe it. Gordal says no to Gotcha. I mean, our options are either leave him to suffer there, just kind of being impaled on himself, or, like, kill him, so. Hmm? Were you not listening, sir? We're heading out. Out? Yes, out. We're going to destroy the restraints of Vlad, three Vlad the third place on himself by using our noble phantasm. Oh! Oh, you mean Valiente Asalto de the fucking wow. Uh, hang on. I, I speak Spanish. I can I can do this. Uh Valiente Asalto dedicado a la princesa. Brave assault dedicated to the princess. No, not that one. Oh. There's no way our weak noble phantasm can destroy Count Vlad's stakes. Then do I really have to go? That, sir, yes, is a secret. Sancho! <laughs> He's got a real input. Ah. I hate myself sometimes. Damn it, Caddock, stop wasting your mental energy on things you can't change already. You gotta stay cool, calm, and collected. Just think about what you can actually do. That's the best possible thing you can do for yourself right now. That aside, Holmes isn't any different. Is he? I thought I was doing a good job of acting normal and not looking on him unless I had to, but... Damn it, it's no use. I've got to save the thinking for when he's not around, like usual. <sighs> yeah, cold! Caddoc? Yep, yeah, sorry, I just got chills? It felt like someone was pouring ice down my back. Hmm? Ice, you say? What the hell is happening to Caddoc? Caddock did the ice bucket challenge. Is Caddock fucking dying?
Oh, don't worry, he's just possessed. Oh, cool. <laughs> I'll take over while you're gone. How? Did they explain it later? Okay. Who the hell is he possessed by then? It's probably some lame person. Oh. Right. He has Vi with him. I forgot about that. Or V. Completely forgot about that. Don't worry. If and when they find out, we'll just have to end the charade. I'm very star-hearted. Star star Can't have the great story of Don Quixote without Don Quixote and, of course, the trusty Sancho. Yeah, I don't know why I said Vi like that. <laughs> or V. Because it's, it's very clearly... I, I'm thinking about Vi from League of Legends. Here, sir. Have some fruit-infused water. Thank you, Sancho. I'm sorry to interrupt your break, but I'm detecting hostiles nearby. Good thing they put that water put me right as rain. Okay, Master of Caldea. Time for you to see just how I became the legendary Don Quixote de la Mancha. Mancha, not Mancha. <laughs> That's tea. Don't use his S3, yeah. It's not buffed yet. Is this a... S oh, he has to come along. <laughs> Why are you... <laughs> Tyra? <laughs> what? Why is it just Tyra? <laughs> she put me in, coach. I'm actually kind of surprised I kind of figured out what his MP name was, because it's been a very long time since I spoke Spanish. I, I've, I've spoken at length about my great disdain for the Spanish language. Not in like a racist way, just in a I was forced to learn it in high school and I hated every second of it way. Valiente, Val, 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 Valentina White Bag. Wait, that's the actual name of the song? What song? Is there a Don Quixote song? Oh. Oh, MP gain after three turns. It's a very odd effect. Oh, there's a song called I Don't Even Speak Spanish at all. I forgot what his MP even looks like because I don't have a Don Quixote of myself on either server. <laughs> Ride wife, life good. I mean, the thing is, it's not just his wife, it's also like his best friend. <laughs> But you know what? We we stand a we stand a bisexual king. All right, don't use this one. I don't know if your best friend, if your wife isn't your best friend, what are you doing? Not having friends.
I don't have friends and I don't have and I don't have relationships, so I can't have a wife. What does this do again? It's like increase MP gauge level 10 for all allies, excluding yourself and green crit stars. What? <laughs> There we go. Good job, Don Quixote. Bro charges MP when the enemy's dead. It's the Salome fight all over again. Victory is ours. Well, now, I am genuinely surprised at how strong you've proven yourself to be. Goddamn, bro. Yeah, that skill's garbage. I don't know why they made it like that. They fixed it recently, though. When he charged at those windmills he believed to be giants, both he and Rocinante were found themselves sent flying before their troubles. Hey, I want some of the time. <laughs> well, he wants let me lose some, but regardless, the story never once depicts him surpassing his human limits. Pink fox, yes. Well, she's not really a fox. She's a horse. Though I did think she was a fox for a very long time, but now she's she's a horse. Don Quixote, Limba, Don, Don Quixote's in Limba's company. <laughs> I mean, we fought literal gods at this point. I don't think it's that gonna it's gonna be that difficult to kill these guys. Kremhild and Constantinos the Eleventh. Kremhild is legendary for her vengeful nature. We can assume her combat prowess is unrivaled. Constantinos is famous for protecting his city from a prolonged siege while outmatched and outnumbered. I mean, he lost at the end of it, so. <laughs> Pin down Kremhild and failed her Kaikyon. Feed her Kaikyon. Don Quixote really is just a big himbo, huh? Yes, sir, you absolutely can. She says I can. <laughs> they say they can. Me, <laughs> me and my, me asking my girlfriend for permission to. Okay, no, I'm gonna stop there. Forgive me, how should I address you? <laughs> Mrs. is fine, Lord Holmes. Very well then, tell me, Miss Sancho, is this noble phantasm made for support? It is. <laughs> she let me stack donuts on it. Don Quixote and Sancho really are just that meme of, excuse me, he asked for no pickles. I need a girl like Sancho in my life. Uh, is this a boss fight? I don't think it is. Uh... It is kind of a boss fight, but it's not difficult, so I'll just do some random shit, I guess. Just a single target boss, and I need to get rid of three gut stacks. Is that guts permanent, or can I just Vargas the guts off? Yeah, I don't think- I don't remember there being anything particularly hard. Eh, I, I might as well just use BB. If I get a good card lock, it'll be all fun. Give me two buster cards. If you don't, I will find your family and then I will say very mean things about you to them. 
I will tell them that you didn't eat your chalky milk. Or, well, you don't eat chocolate milk. I guess you can eat it if it's, like, curdled. <laughs> But he was still alive. God damn, bro. Why are you making me feel bad for him? Both the Restatement Realm and Revenge Realms used to do battle here, right? But how come neither of them have taken him? Take a closer look. I mean, he's impaled himself into the ground, dog. <laughs> he ain't moving. Oh, well, there is also that. <laughs> Hey, that's uncalled for. You don't just call people monsters. I'm pretty sure we couldn't think of anything about except running away. Eh, well, about anything except running away. And the same goes for me as well. While I do think I would have come up with the same idea to seal myself away, I'm not nearly so experienced in battle that I would also plan ahead to include a means of self-defense. Alright. Let's beat the shit up. Let's beat the shit up our best friend again. Well, not best friend, a friend. Why do I have eleven notifications? What the? Oh, that's why I have eleven notifications. <laughs> Is it because you're cool? No, it's because I replied to someone. <laughs> Maybe gets taunted. She does. She won't die. She's she's an alpha. She's an alpha gamer. She's she'll be fine. Oh wow, I killed him with a single card. Oh, it's one hit. I don't know why I thought it was more than one hit. Perish. Was I supposed to kill him? Okay. Imagine if I imagine if you just lose if you kill him. The game's like, well, hey, we told you in story that you're not supposed to kill him. You're just supposed to incapacitate him. Donate 50 million QP to you. I would. I have like over 900 mil. I'm not using it on anything. You can have it. Go back, go back, go back. Book's end, Dream concludes with the real cold splash of reality. All fades into the past like a passing fever. We must abandon our dreams that we might more fully live our lives. Activating Noble Phantasm returned to reality. <laughs> Snap back to reality! Oh, there goes gravity! I mean, I can't actually give you QP, but I can add you to my friends list. Wait, what? What is it? Oh. That's what his noble phantasm does? This noble phantasm does? This noble phantasm is much more limited in scope. It forces a servant to return to a remote part of the world where no mag magecraft or mystics have ever been observed. S Spain? <laughs> I 
But Spain is like in Europe, so wasn't that where like most magic is from? It does. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Their noble phantasms kill themselves. I can't be I can't believe she ha she their Brazil their their NP is <laughs> welcome to Brazil. <laughs> no magic exists here. How did you do this? I wasn't expecting to be rescued until after the singularity had been repaired, if at all. You got saved by the, by the Brazil NP. You guys do realize you almost vanished, right? What if you had? Wouldn't that have brought the Righteous Realm to the brink of a collapse? Ah, don't worry, Lord Caddock. This would have been a great adventure in its own right. Yay for adventure! <laughs> Yay for adventure! That's not what I meant, damn it! Affectionate gates. I don't know a lot about Don Quixote, but having Don Quixote kill himself by trying to save someone else seems very in character. Dying would have been an amazing adventure. You know, for most people, dying is usually the end point. <laughs> Don Quixote's just so fucking base that he that he thinks killing himself is fun. What a fun and quirky- Oh shit, I was supposed to add that guy. The only Don I know is from Limbus Company. I mean, Don Quixote was like an actual person. Well, not an actual person. He was a, a story character. Damn, this is Don Quixote and Limbus Company? Is I can't tell if this is a guy or a girl. <laughs> it's a she. Okay, I should have expected. <laughs> That's on me, personally. I have not even seen a lot of, like, Limbus Company gameplay. I know it exists, and I know a few people who play it, but... I don't really, like, take a look at it too much. That Noble Phantasm took so much out of us that we won't be able to do anything for a while, either. I mean, y'all weren't doing much in the first place. Try charging Lord Holmes if you don't believe me. Huh? Alright! <laughs> uh oh. Aww. Phew. Hmm. I suppose we can call it a draw. So, I want you to do a pratfall right now. <laughs> okay. Is this some sort of ritual with which I'm unfamiliar? <laughs> I, I, I love this. The comedy written here is great. I love Don Quixote already. It was an act of uh, great selflessness or great selfishness? I'm sorry, that was no weak way to speak to my saviors. Not at all. Very well then, let's return so I can see the righteous Rome city for myself. From there, I'll survey your mer 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 military. Military. <laughs> this. My true name is Vlad III. I am a servant of Caldea Berserker class. And now I have returned to where I belong. Good to have you back, but... but, but. <laughs> I'm having trouble speaking. I just mixed the word troubles and problems. I'm so bad. Let in the righteous realm. Damn, bitch, you live like this? Sir? That's it. That's exactly how a knight and his lord should behave. I want that. Um, welcome home, sir. It's just not the same. <laughs> I'll send you one more word like that from you, sir, and I'll send you sailing that straight down this mountain. Oh, hi, princess. 
Wait, she can just change between the two of them? It's a little embarrassing, but it's true. Man, it's been warmer before you transform like that. My poor heart can't take it. I can deal with it. Aw. This is fucking hilarious. I love this character so much. What the hell? This is true, but losing his combat prowess still hurts. Alright, we'll be taking our leave here. Should you guys be, like, dressed back up? Shame she doesn't do it in Assassin's, only one Ascension is a princess. One of, the, one of her Ascensions should be, like, his best friend, because isn't his best friend also a part of Sancho? They're all, like, just one, like, big conglomerate, basically, of, <laughs> of Don Quixote's friends. I wish all my friends could just be condensed into one person that follows me around. For when those who are, should be helping to fight the war are no longer able to separate it from their daily lives, that's when we're in a Sutsun. Shout out to us getting to use Don Quixote right before he loses his powers. Well, I mean, he wasn't going to do, be doing much in the first place, let's be honest. It doesn't matter, because he wasn't really all that... He wasn't really fighting in the first place, because he had to hide himself, because he's pretending to be Charles. So him losing his powers is actually, like, just them writing him off in a way that makes sense. I love Melusine. Damn, I'm a, a Melusine fan in chat. How how rare. Oh, ho, they're all going at it a lot harder than I was expecting. Well, what do you know? I don't know much about combat trading, but it looks like they're doing a good job. This is even worse than I thought. He really is just like, damn, bitch, y'all live like this? Is it that bad? It is. Let us say for the sake of our Oh, no. <laughs> He's Ben Shapiro. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Imagine that the other two realms have waged all-out war and that one side succeeded in wiping out the other, but at the cost of the majority of their soldiers. Even in that ideal situation, I can tell you that we still could not win. Damn, really? I mean, I guess we did just have a Sulfur and Roland doing all of the heavy lifting. Hypothetically speaking. Some of them used to be heroes or in the military, or otherwise fought in some major battles. The problem is, they're all over the place. There's no unity or teamwork whatsoever. We can lead small teams well enough, but that's it. A Stolfo and I couldn't possibly lead an entire army. What's more, Diarmud and Shu Fu are only slightly better than nothing. Goddamn, bro! <laughs> what did Diarmud do? <laughs> Shu Fu I get, but Diarmud? <laughs> Since the dawn of recorded history, there has only been one reliable way to turn soldiers into an army. A training montage. <laughs> Someone get me Eye of the Tiger. Every servant in the Righteous Realm that they are to assemble early morning for joint training. Oh god, it's a joint training arc from my hero. Hey, Sancho? No, sir, you can't relinquish the throne. 
How did you know what I was going to say? <laughs> Look, I'm not proud of this, but even I know I'm not the best choice for this job. Sancho is right. Unfortunately, I currently lack the strength to stand on the front line myself. More importantly, you have already claimed to be Charles the Great. None of the other servants here would accept me suddenly taking over as your successor. Nope. My hero fans when my hero is in academia. I don't know, I've never seen the show. I mean, I have, but I've only seen like up to like one episode of season three and I lost interest after that. Especially with the modern story, the way it's going, I have no, I have no interest in it. Well, you won't be able to summon servants with so many watchful eyes nearby, as long as you don't have them use noble phantasms. You should be able to pass yourself as a caster who calls upon shadow soldiers to fight for you. Midoriya has a new haircut? Midoriya, new hair. What the fu- Dude, they gave him the- What the fu- They gave him the- They gave him- <laughs> They gave him the, the- The, like, the haircut they give every black person in media now. <laughs> They gave him the Eddie Gordo, the Killmonger. Um, what about us? You two have the most difficult task of all. What's that? Wait and trust that we will complete our tasks. You are not to do anything more than that. Really? So I'm just supposed to do nothing? You are Charles the Great. You can neither reveal your true identity nor take part in battle yourself. Your job is to have faith in your subordinates. Yes, sir. Master Kadok, I urge you two to get some rest. I shall do the same. Okay. It's amazing how they gave Midori a new haircut, but he still doesn't look any older than 12. Did Kadok sneak into our room again? Okay, no, we're leaving. Oh, are we going to talk about, uh, talk with, um, Don about about Lost Belt uh, 5 at this point. I wonder when that reveal is going to pop by. Say, how'd you end up pretending to be an emperor anyway? It's a long story. You see, one thing led to another and here we are. That's really all it boils down to. I know I was a servant of proper human history, which immediately put me at odds with the other servants. I suppose you could say it was a stroke of luck. I was just about to say something to them when Sancho clapped a hand over my mouth and acted like we were on their side. Then, with what we learned, by sneaking into the Revenge Realms, I knew things couldn't stay this way, or could go on as they were. I may have been able to retain my body in that realm, but I would have lost my mind. I'm a coward, you see. And that reinstatement realm wasn't much better. Oh my god, I actually predicted what he was going to say. I'm an alpha. I'm to move into an area where neither realm had much influence. The next thing I knew, we were surrounded by other servants who felt the same way and ran away with us. It was Sancho who came up with the idea of creating a place for these servants. Servants on the side of proper human history. But wait, if everyone here is on the side of proper human history, why aren't we telling them that we are from proper human history? No, it really, wasn't. it really wasn't. For one thing, I wasn't even summoned in my prime. Both my mind and my body are way past the sell-by date, if you take my meaning. My story both begins and ends with me as an old man. This is the only way I'm known. That's why I look the way I do. <laughs> okay, but why are you two feet tall? What's the explanation for that one? grim as that may sound. Easy Coco, sir. Lady Soul. Great. Thank you, Sancho. 
Thank you. <laughs> Actual slut. Ah, nice and sweet, just the way I like it. I mean, it's it's cocoa made from the Spanish. Oh my, then I'd better take it away right now. Please don't, this is one of the few pleasures I have at my age. <laughs> I was only joking. So it sounds like this whole realm was your idea, Sancho? Not at all, I only made a suggestion. I'm also one of the world's most helpful maids, you see. Oh, I have some competition. Except she's actually good at her job and I'm not. <laughs> I need to I need to get some lessons from Sancho on, on how to be a good maid. My room's dirty as fuck. You don't have competition, aw. Are you are you saying I'm I'm good at my are you saying I'm good at my job? You're easily bottom two No Okay, wow, thanks, man. I hate it here. Oh, I get what you meant, don't worry about it. I pretty much only say indeed when I'm on the throne. <laughs> indeed! <laughs> you mean it's a nuisance? You only, need to be, you only need to be proud and domineering. That's really all a king or emperor needs. If you say so. What do you think, Lady Soul? I think when it's really important, you might have to take matters into your own hands. Okay, I'll do that. Basically, right now, you just have to stick to what you're already doing. I guess so. Thanks again for the cocoa. I'd better head back now. Hmm. Oh, are you sure you wouldn't like to talk a little more? No, she should get some rest. She has an early morning tomorrow. Good night. Was that a mistake? It's hard to say. I'd have to work up the courage to apologize. What do you think of the Master of Caldea, Sancho? We both know how terrible a judge of character I am. I think she's a good person. And above all, I think she's very willing to forgive others their mistakes. Sir, you do know what Caldea coming here means, right? It means she and her companions have come a long way to be here. So there's no need to feel bad for them. I know, but still... I'm afraid there's nothing I can do about this, sir. It is all down to you. Though, of course... Hmm? Depending on how things go, an apology might be the last thing they need. Uh, I guess we should head back to the throne. It's time to return to my duties as Charles the Great. Yeah, so they still haven't told us exactly why Don Quixote is even here. And I'm very curious about how he manages to get to this place. Vlad the Third. Oh. I thought this was a new chapter, but no, it's the same chapter. My bad. This is an endurance battle that ends after three turns. A total of 50 enemies in a single wave of mixed lance, saber lancer and assassin classes. Okay, so I can just do whatever I want with this fight. It's a very short read, so... We got through three chapters today. That's pretty decent. Though, uh, how long is chapter 12? It's kind of longish, so we'll save that for next time. Unfortunately, I have lost my own servant powers due to extenuating circumstances. However, as a result, His Imperial Majesty has seen fit to trust me with full command of this army. You may consider me your general, marshal, or whatever high, other high status position suits you. If any of you object, speak now. Hmm. I'm glad to see none take issue with my leadership. Damn, everybody respects you. What's that like? My own chat doesn't respect me. Competitive edging at the goon set. <laughs> yeah, I think you do. I'll call up my therapist. And you can get your own therapist with today's sponsor of the stream, BetterHelp. That I'm not actually sponsored. I'm not cool enough to get a sponsor. <coughs> Do 
Yeah, don't worry. I know about I know about the BetterHelp scandal. That, don't worry about it. I I wouldn't accept the a sponsorship from them. I I have standards. Don't worry about me. A fortress that looked and probably actually was much too flimsy to stand up to a servant attack. I mean, that's very hard. I haven't gotten any emails offering me sponsorship. I've gotten like two emails related to me streaming and like sponsorships. Both of which were, were for like random programs. I emailed them back and I'd be like, hey, uh, can you get like explain? And then they just didn't. So. I mean, I have been offered a few games to play, but both of them were crypto games, and I'm going to be honest, I don't want to peddle that shit on my stream. Caster, soul. Yes, sir. As I told you already, you can't have your servants use their noble phantasms, but you also don't need to feed our opponents. Are we going to be NP sealed for this? Because the game doesn't say that. I'm assuming... Oh, no, it's two mandatory frontline NPCs. Okay. <laughs> there is a fight that NPCs you, and I hate that one. Okay. Don't worry. I've got crit teams up the ass. Hey again, so like before, I'll be backing you up, but I'm not going to do any fighting myself. Why the look, you think I'm trying to get off easy or something? I don't exactly see you getting ready to jump into the fray either, you know. Bleh. Goddamn. Your own service will be NPC, but the support service will not be. Well, this it's not this fight, it's probably a fight afterwards. Whoop, here they come. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be the last chapter I do for today. Because I can feel a headache coming for some reason. Beating up helpless targets feels so good. Jesus. It's like a beat a certain number of enemies in these turns, and that's easy with your own servants, but like... Oh, I know which fun... I don't know which fight you're talking about. It's been a while since I've played this on JP, but... I, I think I remember the fight you're talking about. I don't remember it being that hard, though. Mm. Oh, wait, I can bring my own servants. Boop. Boop. Oh, well, if I'm... If it's a fight like this, Vargas is obviously the option I want to pick. Fuck Roland, all my homies hate Roland. That <laughs> usually I say that as a joke, but in this situation I think I think all my homies do hate Roland because we were all rolling for Kremhild. Jackie likes Roland. Yeah, but you know. Jackie doesn't have good taste, so I think I think I think we've established that. Please don't please don't tell her I said that. Uh, them, I guess. They're for the down what they're doing. Is. Activate Roland, you our damage dealer. Good. Oh, yeah, we are MP sealed. I would really have appreciated if the game, you know, told me that, but it's very clear that God hates me, so. Okay. 
Jackie wants to be a Venturine, that's his new obsession. Huh. Why would you want to be a Venturine? A Venturine's a fucking loser. Oh shit, I just did the thing again. Full charge? Never mind, that's 10%. <laughs> Alright, well, I have this. Wait, Durandal, isn't that the sword that what's his face has? Well, listen. I know he said that we couldn't use our NPs, but sometimes like the game just says things and they don't they don't listen. Also, how much damage did you just do? That was no damage. Yeah, but the difference is I enjoy talking to Jackie. I hate I hate seeing I hate seeing a venturine on screen. <clears throat> oh right, it is Hector's spear, that's that's the one. But it's also weird because they're spelled differently. <laughs> oh no, they are spelled the right the same way. I thought that A that last A was an E for some reason. I could have sworn. Elementary, my dear. Oh no, instant death that failed. Congratulations, you suck. Oh god. Hmm. Bit of an awkward time to have tried to use NP seal. Oh well they're all immune to NP seal. So that's uh that is a bit awkward. <laughs> What kind of girls do you like and what's your NP? What? Oh. <laughs> I was trying to figure out. I was like, why are you asking me this? <laughs> what I'm saying is I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> No, not the dog! Eh, yeah, she'll get back up. <laughs> I don't think they'll be coming back anytime soon. Thanks, Shufu. Alright, it looks like our work here is done. It looks like things are playing out more or less as we expected, but let's go check in with Count Vlad to make sure. I am officially taking command of this army, and I shall be training you in what ways I deem best. I take it there are no objections? Y'all didn't do jack shit. Oh, this is Sancho, by the way. That was terrifying. Wait, was he fighting against the- why are they here? Didn't we literally tell you guys to stay at the castle? We told them stay at the castle and don't move and, and they pull up like, hey, yo, what's going on? All right. Oh wow, I actually run out of AP at the perfect moment. Ugh. That was fun. Did you guys have fun? I 
actually need to check my enhance. How much XP yeah. do I have? I still haven't leveled up my melt, by the way. I'm a bit stupid. I'm going to punch someone. Is that someone going to be me because I haven't leveled my melt? I'm a sorry. Yeah, but tomorrow is Kingdom Hearts. Oh, oh, good. <laughs> tomorrow is Kingdom Hearts. Uh, and Saturday is an actually fun game. We're playing, <laughs> we're playing Thousand Year Door. I'm gonna try and do all of Chapter Two on Thousand Year Door on sun on Saturday. And tomorrow, I don't know how much of Kingdom Hearts I'll do. I'll do as much as I can before my stomach literally gives out. <laughs> but that's about it for now. I got. I don't even know what I'm gonna do today, dude. I don't have anything to. I don't have anything planned today. So I'm probably just gonna sleep all day again. God, I'll feel like shit though if I sleep all day again. Eh, whatever. Fun. So, <laughs> before sleep, you can get in here and be like, "Hey guys, what's going on? Let's end the stream." <laughs> I don't need another goddamn situation where someone comes in at the last minute. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, I've had so much fun, and uh, as always, live fast and eat ass, everyone. Bye bye.